Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to see how to balance masses if they are rotated in different planes. Let me read the problem. The rotor has the following properties. If the shaft is balanced by two counter masses located at 100 mm radius and revolving in planes midway of planes 1 and 2 and midway of 3 and 4. Determine the magnitude of the masses and their respective angular positions. Okay. So, here we are provided with four different masses and their magnitude okay. and radius of rotation of these four masses are provided and we have to take the mass 1 as reference. So, the angle corresponding to the mass 1 is taken as 0 degree that is it is going to be located horizontally and other angular positions for corresponding to mass 2, mass 3 and mass 4 are given with respect to the reference mass 1 okay. and the axial distance from the first mass is also provided that is mass 2 is located 160 mm from mass 1 and mass 3 is located 320 mm from mass 1 and mass 4 is located 560 mm from mass 1 okay. So, now let us see how to construct the angular position of the masses ok. So, here the mass 1 we are going to consider that as a reference ok. So, it lies along the horizontal axis ok it is 0 degree and mass 2 is located 60 degree from the mass 1 ok. So, here it is 60 degree. So, here we need to be very careful either we have to select in the clockwise direction or in the counterclockwise direction ok. So, whatever may be the direction it is correct ok, but we have to take all the other reference also in the same direction ok. If, if I take counterclockwise direction I have to follow it for all the other masses also ok. So, first mass I have just located in the counterclockwise direction from mass 1 I measured 60 degree and then for the mass 3 it is located 135 degree from mass 1 ok and this is 135 degree I have taken this angle in the counterclockwise direction as like that of the mass 2 and now I am just going to locate the mass 4 and it is 270 degree from the reference that is mass 1 ok. So, here it is located at a distance of 270 degree from mass 1 ok. So, now we have constructed the angular positions of the masses ok. So, now let us see how to construct the position of planes ok. So, we are given with four different masses ok and we are going to balance the entire system by means of providing two counter masses ok. So, we are going to add two masses in order to balance the system. So, totally we are going to have six different planes ok. So, existing masses 1, 2, 3, 4 they are rotating in individual planes and we are going to add two counter masses and they are going to get two different new planes. So, combinedly we are going to have six planes ok. So, this is the axis, this is the first mass and this is the second mass ok and the distance is 160 mm that means from mass 1 to mass 2 the distance is 160 mm ok and then mass 3 and this distance is 320 mm ok and mass 4 and this distance is 560 mm ok and we are going to balance this entire system by means of adding two counter masses ok. One counter mass we are going to consider that as x and it is going to be placed exactly midway between 1 and 2 this is what given in the problem ok. So, one counter mass is going to be located between planes 1 and 2 and here it is located exactly at the mid position that is why it is taken 80 mm from this mass 1 ok. And another counter mass is going to be located exactly midway between 3 and 4 ok. So, it is given in the problem ok. So, this entire distance is 240 ok this distance is 240 mm because 560 minus 320 it is 240 mm. So, midway means from 3 to y it is 120 that is 240 divided by 
2 okay so now we have constructed the position of planes of masses okay now uh, let us see how to find out centrifugal forces and the couples okay first uh, let us draw the position of planes of masses we have already constructed this layout i am just going to use the same layout here and only modification that we are going to make it here is we are going to take any one of these six plane as a reference plane okay in order to solve the problem easily we are going to take this x as reference plane okay while solving we can understand why we have selected this x as reference plane okay by considering x as our reference plane and all the positions which lies in the right hand side direction of this x are considered as positive and all those distances which are located towards the left hand direction of this x reference plane are considered as negative okay so what i want to do is i just want to convert all those distances with respect to x okay then only we can find out the coupled value corresponding to this system okay by taking excess reference okay so this distance is 80 and here it is 80 because it is 80 mm 80 mm okay and the third mass is located 240 mm from x because 320 minus 80 it is 240 and the y plane is located 360 mm from the reference plane okay and this fourth plane is located 480 mm from the reference plane okay so what i have done is i have considered all those distances with respect to this reference plane now let us see how to find out the centrifugal forces and couples okay this is what the tabular column which will help us to find out centrifugal forces as well as coupled corresponding to this system okay so here we have got plane one and reference plane x okay so it is a reference plane okay and plane two three and you have got an another plane where the counter mass is going to be added and finally the fourth plane okay and the masses corresponding to each plane is provided here it is mx so this value we need to find out what is the counter mass which is going to be added at the reference plane at the x okay and mass 2 is 7 kg mass 3 is 8 kg and my we need to calculate and mass 4 is 6 kg okay and the corresponding radius of rotations are provided in this column okay so for the counter masses also the radius of rotations are provided in the problem that is 0.1 meter okay and centrifugal force can be found by multiplying this mass with the radius of rotation okay so we know that centrifugal force is mr omega square since omega is common so we are ignoring this omega square in the calculation okay because though these masses are attached in different plane the entire mass is connected to a same shaft okay so the angular speed of this entire mass is same okay so omega can be ignored in the calculation okay that is why we are going to calculate mr value alone so by multiplying this value with this one we are going to get 0 0.9 so here 0 0.1 emx because we don't know exactly what is the value of emx okay so likewise we can calculate this centrifugal force for all the different masses okay so here you can just see that there are two unknowns mx and my in this centrifugal force column we can just realize that there are two unknowns which are mx and my okay so now we are going to calculate couple okay so in order to find out the couple we need to know the distance from the reference plane okay so here we have selected x as reference plane okay so we are going to write down the distance of other planes with respect to this reference plane okay for the first mass okay it is located at this plane okay so it is minus 0 0.08 meter okay so we have converted this mm into meter since it is lying towards the left hand side direction of this reference plane we have to take it as negative okay minus 0 0.08 okay and for 
this reference plane it is zero okay because there is no distance for this x plane okay and for mass 2 it is 0 0.08 okay and for this 3 it is 0.24 and for the white plane it is 360 mm so we have converted that into 0.36 meter and for this fourth plane it is 480 mm we have converted that into 0.48 meter okay so now we are going to multiply th this term with centrifugal force because couple is mr omega square l so here also we are not going to consider the omega square so we are going to divide this entire couple value with omega square since omega is common for all the masses because all the masses are attached to the same shaft so we are going to multiply this term with this distance okay so here we have got minus 0 0.072 and this value become 0 and this value is 0 0.0672 and coupled for the third plane is 0 0.2688 and for the white plane is 0 0.036 my and for the fourth plane is 0 0.3456 okay so now you can just visualize this column okay so here we have got only one unknown okay that is why we have selected the excess of our reference plane as we have selected the excess of our reference plane this value becomes zero which has one unknown mx okay so this column contains only one unknown my so if we draw the couple polygon then we can easily find out the value of my okay that is why we have selected the excess reference plane in order to bring the number of unknown in the couple column to one so that the problem can be easily solved okay now we are going to write down the angle corresponding to each masses okay for mass one it is zero degree and theta x value has to be found okay and this value corresponding to mass two is 60 degree and theta 3 is 135 degree theta y need to be found okay and the angular position of mass 4 is 270 degree okay so we are going to calculate mx value my value these two are all the counter masses which are going to be added with the existing system so that the system is going to be balanced okay and their corresponding angular positions okay so these are all the values are unknown okay so by drawing couple polygon and force polygon we are going to calculate this value okay so where we have to start we have to start from couple okay because in this couple column we have got only one unknown so by finding this value then we will move on to drawing the force polygon okay now we are going to see how to construct the couple polygon so for that we need to have an angular position of masses we have drawn this uh, angular position of the masses and the couple value corresponding to each plane okay so these are all the values are required to construct the couple polygon okay so here we are going to consider these couple as forces okay so this is that magnitude that is m1 r1 omega square l1 okay so like that here it is m2 r2 omega square l2 m3 r3 omega square l3 okay here it is m4 r4 omega square l4 okay since omega square is common we are not going to consider that value and the magnitude of these values are already we have calculated and they are listed here okay so what is couple polygon or force polygon so it is the representation of these forces as the side of the polygon in certain order okay so if i take this m1 as first then i have to go to m2 m3 m4 in certain order either in the clockwise or counterclockwise i have to consider these couple value as the side of the polygon in both magnitude and direction okay before drawing this couple polygon we need to find out a suitable scale so that we can construct this couple polygon with these values okay in the a4 sheet okay for that i have taken this scale as 1 mm 
represents 0.002 kilogram meter square okay in the actual scale i'm just going to take one mm as 0.002 kilogram meter square okay so now uh, let us construct the couple polygon okay the first couple value is corresponding to the mass one okay so it is uh, moving in this direction okay radially outward direction but we have to look at its magnitude since it is negative okay it is negative so what we need to do is we need to consider this direction as radially inward okay so let us see how to consider this direction o dash a dash so it is in this direction not towards this direction it is radially outwards okay but since its magnitude is in negative so we have to consider it as radially inward okay because this value is minus 0 0.072 okay in actual scale so what is the measurement that we have to take is 36 mm so to represent this value in actual scale we have to take 36 mm because 1 mm is equal to 0 0.002 kilogram meter square so 0 0.072 divided by 0 0.002 gives 36 mm okay in actual scale you have to take 36 mm to represent this o dash a dash value that is 0 0.072 okay so now let us find out the couple for the plane 2 okay it is 0 0.0672 it is positive so it is going to be in this direction radially outward direction so i'm going to construct a line parallel to this couple okay so here it is and the direction is moving this direction radially outwards because it is positive okay and this is b dash and its magnitude is 0 0.0672 okay for that also we need to exactly find out what is the actual value we have to take in our scale okay and the next couple value is corresponding to this mass 3 okay it is moving in this direction okay its magnitude is 0 0.2688 it is also positive so radially outward direction from b dash i'm going to construct a parallel line to this one okay and this direction okay so its magnitude is 0 0.2688 okay <clears throat> okay it is c dash okay so we have represented this couple as the side of the polygon okay so now moving on to this mass 4 okay its direction is radially outwards in this direction so i'm going to construct a line from this c dash just parallel to this couple okay so it is located here and i'm just going to mark the direction okay it is 0.3456 fine so it is d dash okay so now the closing side of the polygon represents this value which is unknown because we know that the entire system is balanced by adding these two counter masses so if the system is balanced then the polygon must be a closed one so the closing side exactly represents this unknown value okay that is 0 0.036 my okay mm -hmm. and it's angular position is calculated by drawing a horizontal line and i'm just going to measure this angle in the counterclockwise direction to represent this angular direction of this plane y okay so i'm going to draw a parallel line to this green one here to represent the mass y okay so it is 23.07 okay so the theta y value is calculated as 23.07 degree okay so now let us see how to find out its magnitude so from couple polygon i'm going to measure this distance okay actual distance d dash o dash okay so that value is 124 mm okay and what i have to do is i have to convert this value into kilogram meter square by using this scale okay so 124 multiplied by 0 0.002 it is exactly 0.248 okay so the d dash o dash is calculated as 0 0.248 okay so i'm going to equate this term with this 
term that is 0 0.036 my is equal to 0.248 so my value is 6.9 kilogram okay so in this case we have calculated the angular position of this mass y as well as its magnitude okay so now uh, let us see how to construct the force polygons in order to draw the force polygons i'm just going to take this angular position of masses okay in which i have added the mass y also which was calculated from our previous computation okay and the centrifugal force value corresponding to each plane okay these things are required to construct the force polygon okay so this force polygon so here uh, the scale value is taken as 1 mm is going to represent 0 0.01 kilogram meter okay if i take this scale i can just easily construct this uh, force polygon in a a4 sheet okay that is why i have just taken this scale value okay fine okay now let us see how to draw the force polygon okay so each uh, this mass has a centrifugal force okay its magnitude is m1 r1 omega square here it is m y r y omega square here it is m2 r2 omega square here it is m3 r3 omega square here it is m4 r4 omega square okay so now i am going to consider these forces as a side of the polygon in both magnitude and direction okay it must be taken in order in clockwise or in the counterclockwise direction okay so first i am just going to take the plane one in which we have got a mass one okay so i am going to draw a line parallel to this force with the magnitude of 0.9 okay kilogram meter okay so first i have constructed this line which represent OA and its magnitude is 0 0.9 okay so here there is no chance of getting negative value okay so in couple polygon we have to be very careful about whether the value is positive or negative in the force polygon all these values will be always positive so all the forces has to be represented as a side of the polygon in the radially outward direction from this point to this point okay radially outward direction okay so o to a so now i have represented this force as the side of the polygon okay o a and the next one is corresponding to mass 2 okay that value is 0.84 okay so now let us see how to construct that side okay so i'm going to draw a line which is parallel to this force from a okay and the magnitude is 0 0.84 okay and then corresponding to mass 3 i'm going to construct a line parallel to this force with a magnitude of 1.12 okay so with the magnitude of 1.12 fine so now i'm going to draw the a line which is corresponding to the mass 4 okay so i'm going to consider this force as the side of the polygon by drawing a line parallel to this force okay so here it is the force and its magnitude is 0 0.72 okay finally i'm going to consider this mass m y okay this mass is already calculated from our previous evaluation okay by drawing couple polygon we have calculated this mass as 6.9 so this value is evaluated as 0 0.69 okay so we have found this value from our previous computation so we know what is my ry value okay that is the centrifugal force corresponding to this plane y okay so it is moving in this direction so i am going to draw a parallel line to this one to represent the force okay as a side of this polygon there is a 0 0.69 okay so now we have got only one unknown that is mx or x okay since the system is completely balanced by adding these two counter masses the polygon must be a closed one so i'm just going to draw a line which closes this polygon okay and this orange line represents the direction of the mass x okay 
and this line measures exactly the value which is equal to the mx rx that is 0 0.1 mx okay and here i'm just going to write that one that is 0 0.1 mx okay this value is 0 0.1 mx so from that i can exactly calculate what is the value of mx okay and before that i'm just going to find out its direction okay so i'm going to draw a horizontal line okay this is the so direction of this mass x okay so i'm going to draw a parallel line to this orange here okay in the angular position of masses okay to represent the mass x okay so it is here and the angular position is 222.6 degree so this angular position is measured as 222.6 degree so we have calculated the angular position of the mass x okay so now we will see how to find out this value that is mx value okay so for that i am going to measure this distance evo that is the actual distance okay so since we have used the scale value we used to get the value in mm not in kilogram meter okay so the value is 158 mm if you measure this distance okay so then i have to convert that into kilogram meter okay by multiplying it with 0 0.01 I okay, got that value is 1.580 okay so this value must be equal to 0.1 mx okay so here is the value so the mx value is 15.8 kilogram okay this problem uh, we have calculated the angular position of the two counter masses x and y and their magnitude also okay thank you